All right. Welcome back. And um, we were about to, if I remember correctly, create baby objects. And we'll do that in the main. So let's go back to the the other, uh, the other one. And here in the main, we can actually create a new baby object from the baby class. So this is a baby class. And here's the, the baby project class that contains the main. And from the main, we will be running <laughs> the program. Um, yeah. So what do we write? When we create a new object, we'll write uh, first the name of the class that we create the object from. So baby class, and um, then the name of the object. Um, and I'll call this baby obj1. Um, and an equal sign again. And uh, we'll repeat equals, uh, then we have a new and then again name of the class and then we'll, well, there's an error message and this is um, because we have a constructor that uh, that is demanding variables uh, as input so let me just let me uh, try this moment, I need to need to I need to do, I need to do something clever now uh, explain better uh, so now I'm I have to pull it uh, you can actually pull out I think they're called tabs but still I have to look that word up but uh, up here um, you can just pull it out and then uh, you have to pull it outside of uh, net beans that's why I made uh, net beans smaller and then I can put it out pull it out and for uh, this one let me just put it to the um, and uh, I'm on Windows here, so I use just uh, if you press the Windows button, the 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 um, the key on the keyboard with the uh, the Windows, uh, and then the the left or right arrow, you can do like like yeah, you can do something like that. So um, oh, and have a bit of a cold. I have to say that, so I'll be sneezing a bit. Um, uh, okay. So what's going on here? Let me just uh, maybe let me get that one out as well because uh, we don't need like this. Uh, so now we have a good view of what is going on. Um, yeah. So to the right we have the um, we have the baby class, and when we try to create a new uh, baby object. Um, the constructor. Let me just so here public baby classes is a constructor. Um, once again, I end up <laughs> in, in, yeah d drawing on top of it, but uh, never mind. So that's the constructor. So create my own error. It's constructor, and um, what it does, uh, it takes in uh, this string name, and then all of them uh, took out of it. <coughs> so it wants uh, I think it's best if I just circled through them so it wants these variables so uh, name st name in which is a string, i colon which is a string int which is uh, hide in which is an integer and uh, move on, wait in was also an integer, so four variables we should create over here so let me just um, like this so here inside of these parentheses we need to define those variables in order to create a new baby object because the constructor is demanding that we do that and this is the reason for the error message here so this is uh, whenever you see like a stop mark then it's an error message so and a red line underneath so that's the reason for the error message so let's put in um Let's put in the uh, the variables. So we can just define them, create them directly here. Uh, this is one possibility. So I could do like, uh, let me see if I remember correctly. I don't think I even have to write string in front of it. I just need to give it text. Um, so the name, let's see, Peter is a nice name. Peter. And the other one was uh, eye color. So let's say Peter has blue eyes. Blue. And let's say that Peter, he is, how many centimeters tall, baby? I have no idea. Let's say 50. <laughs> that's, that's a big baby. Uh, no, let me think. It's probably 30, 35, 40, 50. I'm not sure. Uh, 
that's for centimeters. And the weight, I think, if I remember, 2,500 gram. Uh, so like that. Yeah, and it accepts it. So what's going on? Um, yeah, so what is going on? Um, uh, yep, so we have here... This is how we define a string, and it requires a string. So... And where does it require a string? String name in... Oh, I can't go back. No mind. But it's here. Uh, and this, this is what you should end of it. So it's a string name in. So this is how constructed in the baby class that wants uh, a name that is a string. So in here we have uh, Peter inside the, um, per, um, inside the quotation marks. So it's a string. So Peter is a string in this case, and it wants a string, so it's happy. And the same with uh, the eye color, eye color in, we have uh, here, uh, let me have that one, just green one, I have many colors, eye color in, and uh, like, uh, what's going on, blue. So, this is what we'll do. We'll take the blue and, um, I think it should be clear, but I can uh, make it even more clear, then I can create my own error, like, Ooh, like this. Uh, and the green one. Uh, yep. There. So, sense it like that. And for the numbers, I think I have a blue one here. So, the first integer. Whole number. If I had made a decimal number here, it will go mad. It would break down. So, um, that's another thing. Uh, and this one goes in height. So, it will be 50 centimeters height. High. And uh, height for the height and uh, 2,500 grams uh, and uh, yellow, no, purple. Wait. What will be uh, weight for the weight? So this is uh, the way it works. Uh, so when we create a new object, we have to have it uh, correspond, the input uh, correspond with what the constructor want as input, otherwise the program will don't will, won't like it. Um, yeah. And we can, for the fun of it, uh, create a new baby object. Uh, that's a different baby object, so let me just, uh, we'll be a bit lazy now. Just, uh, no wait, no, i write a new one. i write it all again. Maybe we should. And let me... Um, just um, this is again Windows so shortcuts. I uh, just press the um, the the key on the keyboard with the with the with the Windows the Windows symbol, and then I just press up, pressed up and down and up, and then you can and left and right the arrows. So you can you can uh, do like that. It's very uh, convenient. Uh, so let's create a new object from the baby class. So we'll call this baby obj2 equals, and it's a new baby. Um, that takes in Peter. Let's make a girl this time. So I want to say Marianne, but I don't know how to spell it, so let's call her Mary. Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, comma. Forget to mention that you have to separate them with comma, but you can s you should be able to see that. I hope the resolution, the size of the fonts, is uh, the letters is uh, high enough, so you should see that. I can just zoom in for one second if it helps people a bit. Um, I'll try and remember to zoom in, but maybe I forget it sometimes. So you can see that it's uh, separated by commas. Uh, okay. So, Mary. Well, I think Mary has blue eyes also. Or green eyes. See, Mary has green eyes. Uh, and she's a bit smaller. Good girl. I think that. And a bit lighter. 2000. And what are we forgetting? We are forgetting the um, bang. And uh, as you can see, I can actually I'm inside the the parentheses. Even if I uh, make the um, the the semicolon inside the parentheses, uh, NetBeans knows that it's supposed to be outside, so it actually puts it outside. And there are small things like this in NetBeans that should make the workflow more convenient, save time. Uh, but we'll get to that. I just wanted to mention that one because um, I think it's kind of cool. Okay, so now we have another baby object and these are both created from the same class the baby class but they are different they have different names different eye color and they have a different height and different weight so this is how it works 
with uh, with objects that we can create. We only have to create one class, but then we can create uh, different uh, objects from this class. Uh, yeah, this should. Um, I think this is enough for this video. Uh, for the next video, we'll be creating. Uh, I want to create a two string. So for the next video, I also have to show you a uh, concatenation, uh, just a bit about how to. Um, how to, uh, to to create strings from uh, number inputs let um, we'll get to that next video will be concatenation and then we'll work on the uh, the two string which is a new concept so uh, so we'll have the the constructor and we have uh, objects and classes and then we'll also be using uh, a two string which uh, yeah we'll get to that so bye for now